Hi there. So, I've had a bit of a weird request, but never mind, I'm going to follow it. If you want to know how much money I make writing my books and self-publishing them on Amazon Kindle, then stay watching this video. Hi there. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Lisa Oliver and I have been self-publishing MM Paranormal Romance novels for the past eight years. You can check me out on Google or on Amazon and you'll find me. Now, one of the things, I started this YouTube channel at the beginning of the year because I thought it would be a lot of fun. You know, I'm a 60-year-old grandmother. I really don't have anything wonderful or amazing going on in my life beyond the normal things that everybody else has going on in theirs. But YouTube was a channel I hadn't tried before. I wanted to show and perhaps gain a bit of confidence with public speaking. So I decided to give it a go. And then I got an email and then another one and a couple of personal messages on Facebook saying, hey, it's all very well and good listening to your advice on YouTube. But if you don't clickbait it, if you don't tell people how much money you're making, then why should they listen to your advice? Which, frankly, I thought was one of the silliest things anybody had ever messaged me at all. But never mind. Today we're going to talk about money, specifically the amount of money I make on YouTube, on Amazon and why it really isn't important. Firstly, now I'm going to give this a go. I've got to admit there's a lot about video editing I don't know yet. So I'm trying to do this off my phone, but I'm going to try and get you to see my computer screen. So if things get a bit wonky, I'm sorry for that in advance. Maybe close your eyes for the count of 10 seconds or something like that. We will go around and I need, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, this is slowly pan over there, kdp.amazon.com. Okay, and you'll notice I have an American account because when I started, well, New Zealand still hasn't got their own Amazon site. So we'll click up here. This is me. Okay, and then we'll go up to reports up here. And I want to show you historical over there. Now I'm showing you this so you can see I'm actually doing this right here in front of you. There's no video editing or anything on this because frankly, I don't know how to do it. And yes, it takes a little while because see, you can see I actually started publishing my things in March 2014. There was a little bit of action before then, but nothing important. This is the life to date. However, we want to go for the last year. So we click last year. And then we will scroll down. And there we are. That is the amount of money I made last year on Amazon.com. I made $130,000. $778.80. That's before tax. And then that's the UK site over after that. I think there are three Euro sites. There's Canada, Brazil, and Australia. And since I started work, since I started writing, if we go life to date up there, And we pop down. Oh, we have to wait. You see it's rolling there, doing its thing. The amount of money I have earned since 2014, I just made over a million dollars. Not fucking bad for eight years. Excuse my French. Anyway, there you go. That's how much money I've made. That's how much money I made last year. That's how much money I've made self-publishing my books since 2014. Now let me tell you why that really isn't important. I work my little fingers to the bone. Even, <laughs> even when I get chemical burns from false nails, 
which happened over three months ago. But as I have told you, well, as people who have watched some of my previous videos will know, I have written 80 titles since 2014. This is pretty much my life. I, my children are grown. Um, I do go and visit my grandchildren and they come and visit me sometimes. Over the last two years, it hasn't been possible much. Um, I do have my dogs, but they don't require a lot. And um, I'm not married or dating. And um, I don't have a lot of plans to right now. So I work because back in 2014, I was in a situation where I, my husband of 16 years had decided he didn't like me anymore and he left and I seriously needed to make an income. I suffer from PTSD, from earlier tribulations I'd had and so um, going out into a regular workforce just wasn't an option for me and through sheer fluke I started writing the book I wanted to read and I've done that 80 times so far but the thing is let me see I could do an amazing headline because you've just seen the proof I made a six-figure income for last year woohoo to me I have made a million dollars in my self-publishing journey freaking amazing because I actually didn't realize I knew I was getting close but I didn't realize I'd actually hit it but what does that mean to anybody else all it does is it shows you what hard work does all it does is it shows you that the work that I've put in not only to my books and my stories but in marketing and retaining my readers and staying friends with them and keeping them giving them a platform so they could share their excitement and their pleasure in the stories and the characters that I write that's what that money's a testament to just because I can do it doesn't mean you can but by the same token just because I did it does mean you can but that's why you'd want to follow the advice of somebody like me because I went through the steps look back in 2014 I was 52 years old I had been married for 16 years to a man I thought was going to be my forever when he stopped loving me my world fell apart and about that time my father died too I became the matriarch of my family and I for shit. Not only that, but I didn't want to go on our New Zealand benefit system. I wanted a house of my own. That's what I wanted. I'd been married three times and I'd never had a home to call my own. So that's what I wanted. So I sat down and I started to write. I wrote as a form of therapy. I wrote as a form of escapism. When I finished, I actually, my first book was written during NaNoWriMo in 2013. And I didn't think I could do it. But that writing, that's writing every day gave me structure. And I worked really hard. By the end of NaNoWriMo in 2013, I had written The Reluctant Wolf and half of The Runaway Cat, which was book two in that series. But I didn't self-publish them until February of the following year because I was too scared to. I thought nobody would like my stories. I thought they were crap. I thought even then that authors were these people you put on pedestals that somehow had this elite brain or way of thinking that made them special. And then I put my books out and they actually started to sell. And I realized that authors are just like you and me. My career started when I was 52 years old and my only regret is that I didn't start it sooner, but clearly that was the time it was right for me. And you've seen the money I've earned. And what does that mean to you? 
Honestly, what difference does it make? What difference does the money, does the, the, those figures make? When I say to you, I'm happy to be your friend and help you make a success in your writing journey. What difference does that money make to you when I tell you I earned that over the last year or over the last eight years? Because I worked for it. I did a video not so long ago where I said that writing is not a get-rich-quick scheme. And it's not. But this home, I don't know if I can show you without giving you a head rush. But this home, this here, it is in the evening, so I'm sorry if it's a little muted. And my pups are in bed. But this is mine. It's not very posh. It's not very fancy. But I paid for this. It was mine. And that's what my self-publishing journey means to me. Self-publishing, more than anything else, has given me the ability to have control of my finances, to have control over when I work and how often, gives me control over how often I put books out and in what language and what format. I create my own covers. I created my own author problem pro blah, 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 platform. And all of these things took time. And I learnt from having zero knowledge on anything. I learned it step by step and I am 100% proud of what I've achieved to date. So when I started this YouTube journey at the beginning of this year, because why not? I'm now 60. And who says a 60-year-old woman can't have a place on a YouTube platform? Who says a 60-year-old woman can't be able to share a bit of advice to help other people who are just like me, normal individuals who want to make a bit of extra money, who want to write the stories they want to read and who maybe, maybe can get some financial security out of it too over a period of time. Who's to stop me? So... It's fine if you want to know how much money I make. Now you do. Now you know. But are you going to use that as a motiv motivation? Or is it going to depress you? I want it to motivate you. I have author friends who were new once, just like you. And they started off making $1,000 a month from their sales. And they kept writing. And then they made $2,000 a month in their sales. And within a year, they were making $5,000 a month from their sales because they were building a backlist, writing a series, cherishing their readers and creating a platform so that readers could get in touch and stay in touch with them between the books. $10,000 a month is roughly what I make now, and I have been making it for a long time. There's no reason why you can't do it too. But instead of asking people how much money they make with what they do, because you're trying to judge if it's worth it or not, look at the things that you can't put a price on. The fact that I'm in my 90s. The fact that I can work any hour of the day or night, that suits me. The fact that I can take a day off and take a tour out and have lunch with friends if I want. The fact that I make money while I'm asleep through my books selling. I control my finances, my day-to-day -day life, and that's huge. 
And I see so many disempowered people. This would mean a lot to them. If they could just get past the get rich quick mentality and actually just knuckle down. And instead of spending that time looking for something to get rich quick, actually took that same amount of time and started pouring it into something worthwhile, like a self-published writing career. I hope what I've showed you today is motivation. And if you have any questions at all, you can get in touch with me in so many different ways. You can start by leaving a comment below. But in the meantime, if you did enjoy this and you do think that maybe I can motivate you because I live an example of the life you want to live, then hit the like, hit the subscribe, ask me questions and I will answer. You have my word. I am living my dream life, despite COVID, despite separation from my children who live in another geographical area, despite the hardship it can be in living alone sometimes, I am living my dream life. And I want to share the tips and the tricks and the tools of the trade so that you can live it too. Hug the ones you love, my friends. I'll see you again soon.